I am going to be explaining the kitchen to a sock monkey. is a kitchen. This kitchen is a fairly standard kitchen for a North American apartment. Kitchens are where people make food. Some kitchens are bigger than this and some kitchens are smaller than this. This kitchen is located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada in North America. There are many different types of kitchens all around the world and some kitchens look very different from this one. There are three main elements that make a kitchen a kitchen. The stove, the refrigerator, and the sink. Stoves are where people make food and heat it up. This stove has a pot on the top that shows how some people make their food. These elements heat up and you can fry food on it or use this pot as the example on the um, stove right now. Inside the stove is called an oven. The oven can be opened and you can slide pans inside or other um, cooking uh, materials to heat up food in there as well. The temperature can be adjusted on these knobs on the top of the stove. There's also a clock in here where you can adjust a timer to know when your food is properly ready for eating. Next is the refrigerator. The refrigerator is quite messy right now, but refrigerators are used to keep food cold. The food that needs to keep cold is often dairy products like milk and cheese, or meats, or other fruits and vegetables. Certain fruits and vegetables need to be kept cold and some don't. There are many other things you can put in here as well. The sink is where you can get water for drinking or for cooking. You can also wash your plates and cups and bowls after you finish eating with the water that comes from the tap in the sink. Two other major elements of kitchens are freezers and cupboards. A freezer is where you keep food frozen. This food is often meats, leftovers, and other things like ice cubes that keep drinks cold. It is really important to make sure that your freezer is always keeping stuff frozen, so check it very regularly. Cupboards, like these, are used to store food that doesn't need to be kept in the freezer or the fridge. The foods in the cupboards are often grains, flour, canned goods, pasta, and other dry, dry items. They're really handy because sometimes if you don't have proper cupboard space in your kitchen, you have to find somewhere else in the house to put your um, dried goods. As well as, sometimes with freezers, people have larger ones that they put in their garages or basements if they don't have space in their kitchen. But this is a really nice um, appliance because it puts the freezer and refrigerator in one. 
Countertops are another thing I have not mentioned yet. And they are not exactly, um, they're only a bonus in kitchens. They're not in all kitchens, unfortunately. But we have a nice countertop, and on the countertop we have cutting boards that we can use to cut vegetables or meat or anything that we need cut. Now I'm going to show you some tools that we use in the kitchen. They're all laid out on this table here. This is a fork. This is a spoon. This is a wooden spoon. This is a spatula. This is a can opener or bottle opener on the top. It's a two-in-one. This is a zester for lemons. These are measuring spoons. And this is a measuring cup to make sure that your ingredients are the proper proportion for what you're trying to make. This is a knife. And this is a garlic press. There's lots of other tools you can get for your kitchen as well, but these are some standard objects that can be found in a lot of kitchens. Now, as I've said before, there are many different types of kitchens around the world, but this is an example of a fairly standard one for an apartment. Now that this sock monkey has been explained what exactly a kitchen is, he now is familiar with all of the mechanisms that humans use to make their food in North America.